right so it is coldest day of the year so far minus 26 actually last night it was around minus 30 and we're gonna compare long range heat pump model 3 to a long range rear wheel drive non heat pump model 3 and see the efficiency and range effect on this extremely cold day let's actually see if i can even unlock the door this car has been parked here for four days oh perfect so i did forget to preheat the car uh, it's been parked here like i said for four days uh, let's see oh wow so about uh from 68 to whatever that is around 75 so 10 percent of the battery is cold um, and then at the moment we have 68 percent available and to our destination we got 49 minute drive 74 kilometers and it's saying we will arrive there at 48 percent so let's get going so we merge onto the highway um, most of this drive will be on the highway we'll be traveling around 110 kilometers an hour on average um, and then so 80 percent highway around 20 percent on city streets um, it is so cold and like i said the car was sitting out in the cold minus 25 minus 30 past three or four days suspension is kind of hard right now i'm doing a lot of bumps uh, but the other thing is you know if you have a non-heat bump uh heat pump model 3 it instantly heats up the cabin not the battery but the cabin on these heat pump models it takes it a few minutes to heat up the cabin and then obviously you'll hear a lot of noise coming from the heat pump as it's troubling to get that cold air in compress it and do whatever it is to do so you know this test is actually like the worst case scenario you can run into you have an extremely cold battery extremely frigid temperatures the past two weeks uh, you know the car's been sitting outside unplugged uh, and before leaving the battery was not preconditioned I don't expect this snowflake icon right here which indicates a cold battery or a percent of the battery that is cold to go away even when I arrive at my destination I'm just gonna set my speed to 110 kilometers an hour uh, cruise control as much as we can we'll just set it to that temperature is set to what I'm comfortable with 21 I like to keep it at 20 but the car was very cold so I'm gonna keep it at 20 for now and then if I need to change it I'll do that later on we actually have like not a headwind but almost like a headwind on an angle here around uh, 30 to 38 kilometers an hour so that will also affect our range a lot so travel travel 76 kilometers exactly took 47 minutes this was a water per kilometer very high but that's what happens on a cold battery in winter time and then we arrive with 47 percent and like like i said the cold uh, snowflake icon is still there which means i still have like about uh, five percent of the battery still cold so now let's jump into the non-heat pump model 3 and see how that does so we got 85 percent charge but it's a cold battery showing 372 kilometers i don't even use the kilometer actually i just use percentage because kilometers in an ev are incredibly inaccurate uh, as you can see from the battery we got five percent of the battery is cold and then if you go back to the trip itself 52 minutes 72 kilometers and it's saying we will arrive with 64 percent of battery now it is negative 13 c but with the wind chill um and it's the winds are supposed to pick up it's going to be even colder so let's go ahead traveling at uh, 105 to 110 kilometers an hour as you can see here um, i'm not driving slow by any means just you know this regular driving the heat is set to what i'm comfortable at with 20 heated seats on uh, fan setting is one and this car uses winter tires the other car has winter tires both of them all right guys so we arrived since last charge 78 kilometers 14 kilowatt hours and not a bad consumption uh, battery is at 62 percent let's look at the data the results are very interesting for the 2018 model 3 not preconditioned on winter tires we started with 85 percent of usable battery uh, about five percent was five percent was cold so total is 90 percent the weather is negative 24 c and per navigation we have a 52 minute uh travel times into two kilometers and we're supposed to arrive with 64 percent set of charge at the trip 
instead we arrived with 62% so 2% variance we arrived a little bit faster 48 minutes and travel a bit further due to a detour so 25 kilometers in total uh, ended up using 28% of the battery with the consumption of 176 watt per kilometer now the long range model 3 that has the heat pump again not preconditioned on winter tires it started with 68% of the battery it was a really cold battery was sitting out for four days uh, so the actual battery capacity was 77% the weather is negative 26 at this time and we are supposed to travel 49 minutes 74 kilometers and supposed to arrive with 48% state of charge but we arrived with 47% so 1% variance not bad uh, we arrived faster at 47 minutes due to detour actually took longer 76 kilometer of uh, total distance and ended up using 21 percent of the battery the consumption a little bit high 212 water per kilometer but again this is a little bit heavier car dual motor long range so when you put these numbers together the non-heat pump model 3 used 7 percent more worse conditions it was the car was sitting out in the cold for four days um and both of the cars were not preconditioned but uh, so for the return trip, um, if we were to take all these numbers, the 2018 Model 3 would have used 56% of the total battery. The 2021 would have used, the heat pump model would have used 24% of the, uh, 42% of the battery, sorry. Um, and when we talk about kilometers, not heat pump or 100% charge would only go 264 kilometers, while the heat, while the heat pump Model 3 would go 344 kilometers in extreme conditions worst case scenario no preconditioning um, extremely cold weather and with winter tires so i think these results really does show the heat pump model 3 has significant advantage over the non heat pump model 3 and that it does help especially in these colder climates hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribe for more